video, we're going to review the Roller Shield Flashing Tape Basic Method Flashing A. This is found on our product data sheets. Materials you're going to need, Roller Shield Flashing Tape, some scissors, obviously a drill and a paddle, a trowel, and Roller Shield RS. For the Method A application method, we're running our Roller Shield Flashing Tape longer on each side of the window. And basically what you'll end up doing is taking your roller shield flashing tape, extending it beyond the window opening, cutting it in each direction, and then what we do for our overlap is to cut it about four inches. in the center. With the method A, you have to be somewhat accurate on your window openings because you're measuring the window openings plus the length of the roller shield flashing tape. This is what it'll end up looking like in the finished installation where we'll have overlaps on each side like that and then a fill in piece here for the uh, seam. With all the Roller Shield products, you'll want to stir it up before use. This pail has been used before, but we'll demonstrate that. And you'll just remove the lid. We're using a drywall paddle and a half inch heavy duty mixer. Uh, one thing you'll see about uh, the Roller Shield RS compared to our competitors' products is that this, it does have a body to it. And again, we're just stirring it up, we're not adding water or anything. For this application of the Roller Shield Flashing Method A, uh, I'm going to use a uh, trowel for the application. It really doesn't matter if you're using a trowel or a roller or anything like that. I just uh, find the trowel a little easier to apply the materials. So I'll show you how I do that and, uh, you, and I'll explain why I do that. First, what you want to do, take your roller shield and I recommend just apply it thickly on there. And again, you're going to apply it thickly on all sides. And in this case, because we're wet setting the uh, roller shield flashing tape, you want to make sure that you're applying it to the sheathing as well. And generally, I'm just apply a generous application on there. Then, I'll start at the sill and we'll just carefully place this, getting it into the corner. And again, what we're doing is we're centering it on the opening. And if you just slowly work it, the uh, flashing tape embeds itself into the wet roller shield. What this does is it allows you to, to draw it down tight. You can just keep thinning it as you go. Okay, check for wet spots. And then we'll do the overlap again into the corner centered on the sides. And just tack it down. Turn your 
corner. And again, I'm kind of peeking out the outside here. To my mind, this application of drying it, using the trowel and drying it tight, allows you to get this thin so you have a nice smooth spot for your window. And then we'll just make sure there's plenty here. And apply our corner reinforcement. Now finishing this up, you just want to make sure you got an even coat on here. I know the field is a, a 10 mil application, but we achieve nail sealability at 22 mils, which is really what you're going to get when you apply it evenly. And that completes this installation. Mm -hmm.